Once upon a time, in a prosperous land, there lived a wealthy king. He was well known throughout the country for his generosity and trustworthy words, since he always honored his promises. Because of the king's nature, he was well beloved by the people of his kingdom. Everyone in his kingdom was quite happy and lived a peaceful life. There was, however, a clever thief in the capital city. When the thief was attempting to take jewelry from one of the minister's home, he was caught. The thief was brought before the king to face his sentence. At the same time, the king was playing chess with his prime minister. In that kingdom, theft was punishable by death. However, the thief was aware of the king's generosity. He begged the king for one last wish. The king accepted it, saying that if it was within his power and kindness, he would grant the burglar's wish. My request is simple, my king, the thief said. Because I disturbed your chess game, I'll keep my wish tied to your game. I simply want the sum of greens to be equal to the whole number of squares on your chessboard but doubled every time. What I mean is that I want one grain of rice for the first square of chessboard, two grains for the second, 4 grains for the 3rd, 8 grains for the 4th, and so on for all the 64 squares. The king saw this as a very small request and granted the thief's wish without any hesitation. The king promised that the burglar would not be punished until his demand was granted. However, a week later, the king's treasury informed the king that his entire kingdom did not produce as much rice as the king had promised. Moreover, the promised quantity of rice may not even be produced by uniting numerous neighboring countries. As a result of his inability to maintain his promise, the king was compelled to hand over his whole kingdom and all of his riches to the burglar and this is what is known as the power of compounding. Albert Einstein once referred to compounding as the eighth wonder of the world. This is true whether it is related to work, relationships or your own personal growth. The power of compounding is an investment strategy that makes your money work for you. The process of compounding is very basic. Compounding interest means interest on interest. Each time you earn interest on your principal, it is added to the original amount which then becomes the principal for the next cycle. This allows exponential growth for your interest. It has a snowball effect, building up to a massive corpus. With the magic of compounding, legendary investor Warren Buffett has doubled, tripled, and even quadrupled his wealth. Slow and consistent will help you win the race in the world of compounding. Put these easy steps into action to make the eighth wonder of the world work for you and increase your wealth. Number one, time is the biggest contributor to creating wealth. So, if you want the superpower of compounding to actually work for you, you must start investing early. The key to Warren Buffett's huge fortune is time. Warren Buffett claims that the power of compounding increases with the amount of time an investment has to grow. Let's examine how Warren Buffett used time to his advantage to accumulate limitless fortune. On his 59th birthday, Warren Buffett's net worth was only $3.8 US billion. In 6 years, his wealth multiplied by 4 times. In 12 years, his wealth multiplied by 9 times. In 18 years, his wealth multiplied by 15 times. And at the age of 91, his net worth is $87.5 billion. So his wealth has multiplied by 22 times in the last 32 years. Compounding is practically a superpower. However, investing early is only half the battle. Maintaining your discipline is the second most crucial factor. Be a consistent investor. Consistent investing is the key. Particularly when the stock market is down, don't stop investing. Instead, the best moment to grow your investments is during a down market. To further understand why consistency and getting started early are essential for the power of compounding to function, let's have a look at an example. Consider there are two friends named Mr. Late and Mr. Early who want to retire by the time they are 60. With a monthly SIP of Rs 5000 and an interest rate of 15% per year for 35 years, Mr. Early began investing when he was 25 years old, while Mr. Late begins investing at the age of 35 and does so for 25 years at a 15% annual interest rate. Mr. Early has invested a total of Rs 21 lakh, while Mr. Late has invested 45 lakh rupees. Can you now see whose retirement fund is larger? Is it Mr. Late who made 24 lakhs more invest? Man, then Mr. Early, you will be shocked to learn that Mr. Late's retirement corpus was only 4.13 crore rupees, while Mr. Early had a remarkable retirement fund of rupees 5.70 crores. This is the result of starting early and maintaining consistency. Be patient. Just as Rome was not built in a day, neither will the process of creating wealth be completed quickly. You must recognize that building a foundation that may assist you reach all of your financial goals will take time. Patience is essential in this situation. Many times, your personal biasness or changes in the market environment might cause you to quit making regular investments. This might be damaging to your objectives. As a result, it is critical that you be patient and stay invested for a long term in order to profit from the power of compounding. 
and potentially achieve your desired returns.